2.2 Uniform Distributions a Uniform distribution occurs when a single trial it, sorry, in a single trial all outcomes are equally likely. For all outcomes x, p at x is equal to 1 over n, where n is the number of possible outcomes in the experiment. When calculating expectation for a uniform distribution, you can factor 1 over n to make the calculations easier. So we have basically the sum of the values from 1 to n multiplied by 1 over n. When calculating expectation, you can calculate the sum of the numbers from 1 to n using the expression n times n plus 1 all over 2. So you can calculate the sum, so this piece right here folks, as n times n plus 1 all over 2. The expected outcome of a fair game is always equal to zero. Next, let's look at an example. Example one, a screensaver has been programmed to draw a circle with a randomly chosen radius of integer length between one and eight centimeters. Is the probability distribution of areas uniform and explain? Calculate the probability distribution and expectation. What does it mean? So first part that says is the probability distribution of areas uniform. To be uniform, okay, means that we're looking for one trial and all equally likely. So yes, this is uh, uniform because there is only one trial and all possibilities are equally likely. Now, the second part we're going to do is calculate the probability distribution and expectation. And what does it mean? So x is basically your radius and radius length, starting with 1, and we go straight to 8. Next part we have is the probability. The probability of achieving a certain radius length is 1 and 8. 1 and 8 all the way down. Next, we want to do the expectation. Expectation is x times p at x, and we calculate those values, and don't forget to reduce your fractions. Finally, to find the this is the x times p at x of each value. To find the sum of x times p at x would actually be your expectation value there. These values are used to calculate your expectation, and then we add these values up to get our expectation value, which is 4.5. Now the sum of all the probabilities has to equal 1, okay, otherwise there's something wrong. And x times p at x is equal to 4.5. What does that mean? Well, on average, the expected radius length will be 4.5 centimeters. So if I took all the different values and I added them up and took the average, it is basically, on average, the expected radius length will be 4.5 centimeters. And that's how we got that value. Okay, let's move it, moving forwards. Look at example two. A spinner has eight equally spaced sectors, labeled from one to eight. In a particular game, a player wins points equal to double the sector's face value. If a power of two is spun, so in a particular game, a player wins points equal to double the sector's face value if a power of 2 is spun. For all other spins, the player loses the face value of the spin. Is this a fair game? Now remember what a fair game is. A fair game implies that we're going to have uh, the expectation value to be equal to 0. So let's figure this out. So you can roll up to an 8. Point value is x, so 1 is a power of 2, means that the base is 2, and 2 to the power of something gives you 1, and that's 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1, therefore the point value for x is double the rule, which is 2. Next one, 2, to, two is equal to 2 to the power of 1, so we double 2, and that gives you 4. 3 is not a value, so we call it negative 3. 4 is a, per, is a power of 2, so 2 to the power of 2 is 4. Therefore, we double 4, and that gives us 8. 5 is not a power of 2, so we lose 5 points. 6 is not a power of 2, so we lose 6 points. 
7 is not a power of 2, so we lose 7 points, but 8 is a power of 2 because 2 to the power of 3 gives you 8, therefore we get 16 points. So that's the point value. Next, we calculate the probability. So I take the probabilities and I add and I calculate them. It's a 1 in 8 chance of getting each number. And finally, I do x times p at x, and I get 2 times 1 over 8, which is 1 quarter, 4 times 1 over 8, which is 1 half, negative 3 times 1 over 8 is negative 3 eighths, 8 times 1 over 8 is 1, negative 5 times 1 over 8 is negative 5 eighths, negative 6 times 1 over 8 is negative 3 quarters, negative 7 times 1 eighths is negative 7 eighths, and 16 times 1 eighths is 2. So we calculate the expected value, which is the sum from 1 to 8 of all of x times p at x. So we're adding all those values up, folks, and we get 9 eighths. Because the answer is 9 eighths, this is not a fair game, because the expected value does not equal 0. If it equals 0, then it would be considered an ex a fair game. Okay, folks? Well, that's the end of the video. Have a numerical day.